So you're in a guy's full close guard, and you're gonna bait him by going like this. And you're gonna keep his leg, his arm, at a distance. You're not gonna let him get elbow deep. You see what I'm doing? Again, you're going like this. You make believe he's really tough. You go like this, pull the leg back. You grab his hand, you sit down on it, you grab him underneath here, and you pull. Elbow in the stomach, gable, sitting on it, and just pull up. Brazilians tell you it doesn't work, that means, you know what? It works. Some guys fall for it, some guys don't, but I want you guys to be aware of it at the very, very least. Again, you're in the guy's guard here, you work it, you go like this, he goes to grab it. As he grabs it, do not let him get it that deep. It's over, you're going for a ride, grab it. Do the sweep, you know that sweep? Uh, Waiters. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! And now you're on the bottom. So you bait it, and you see, you wonder if he knows it. Boom! Here. Fight underneath here. Let's try it in detail. One, two, three. The mechanics of it are really simple. The setup on it is not. You're in the guy's guard, and how you bait it from here is really guy to guy. You know, you lean back, you, you want to bait, you want to see what this guy's game is trying to do. Here is he going to try to set up a triangle, here is he going to try to set up more sweep. You don't know. You know, you might even want to go like this and trap the arm, you know, and he's going to yank that thing out. Go, oh, man, you're so strong, man. You know, you want to make him feel like he's so strong. When you put this leg out, and I don't care which side it is, here, as he goes there, you want to grab it and pull it outside. You don't want to put your leg back in here. Grab it outside. Now, all of my weight and my arm come here, underneath that lock. Now, watch what I do. I'm going to take the top of my head. I'm going to put it on his, the point of his shoulder here. Let's stop. Just slide that arm up. See it? Take my back. Not going to happen, guys. You look like you're vulnerable, but you're not. So again, here. He goes to grab it, and you can't let him get that deep. It's over. He goes to grab it, you grab him first. See how my leg's outside now? This way, this way, I don't care. This doesn't matter, because right now he realizes how vulnerable he is. He's going to start to freak. That's what you want. Head down, here, gable, up. So the details we just looked at, we're keeping the leg wide so you have access to the arm. Because if he does to me, if I go, he puts his leg out, I go like this and drops his leg right back down, and I'm like I'm here, he has no access to this. And if I open my guard here, I'm gonna be able to fight this thing. But if I grab this here, and he keeps it outside, that's all he needs is that little space. Yeah, I'm, I'm done, guys. See it? And then the other point was point of the head, point of the shoulder. That keeps his arm down. What? One, three. Your shins. That looks like, man, I can't wait to do this to somebody. But the trick to it is really a little more you know, difficult than it looks. So I'm in, I'm in shot guard. I go like this. You see how I'm doing this here? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm really sticking this out here. You see how I have his wrist? He, he's gonna grab the back of my, my knee. Let's say he has it with two hands. I don't mind that. We're here. I can even go like this if he does that. Now he's gonna get his hand out, and I'm gonna go to here. Now let's say I'm really high on, under that armpit. Just walk it up, man. Elbow across the stomach. Head on there. You guys see what I'm doing? So again, to the other side, not here, out. Let him think he's got it. Drop and grab it. It's really hard to pull that out, isn't it? And it's not just that I'm fat. I happen to not only grab it, but I'm leaning my weight there. He feels the difference, right? So it's not as simple as it looks. It's, Outside, he goes to grab it, 
and instead you're grabbing him. Right? And ideally, you want that hammy line to be on his wrist line. If it's too high, he's going to pull it out. If it's too here, you're not going to have space to grab his arm. Okay? Arm across the belly. Dig those hands in any way you can. Gable that thing. As soon as you drop that hand on the point, he's going to pound him. Okay? Awesome. One, two, three. 